So, what's keeping you awake tonight? Now, when I was about five years old, back in the halcyon days before there was ever an internet, I discovered the single greatest sport ever conceived by man. Now, it is not baseball, which I adore. It's not basketball or even bowling. It is football, but not American football or even European football. No, what I found was Aussie rules football. And the crazy thing was, I discovered it completely by accident. Now, my brother and I would spend many a night at my grandparents' house when we were kids, and they were the only people we knew who had access to cable. And my brother, being four years older than me, was, and remains, an unabashed sports freak, and he would watch them every single chance he got. And because ESPN didn't have the rights to show the NFL 23 and a half hours a day back then, or any other major American sports for that matter, they had to fill their programming with things like pool and poker and boxing. And of course, Aussie Rules Football. Now, Aussie Rules Football, or footy as it's colloquially known, is best explained thusly. It's part rugby, part Quidditch, and pot kill the bloke with the bloomin' footy. Now the object is to get the ball from the middle of a big circular field to a point where you can kick it at a set of four posts. And of course to do that involves a whole lot more than players just running around the field getting to that spot. You either punch it like a volleyball to a teammate, or you have to kick it to them in the hopes that they can catch it, while 18 guys on the other side are trying to do their absolute darndest to keep that from happening. Now, if they should find themselves in open territory and they have nobody to punch the ball to or nobody to kick it to, then they have to dribble it. Yes, you heard me right. You see players at full chuff on a grassy field dribbling an oblong ball. It is totally ridiculous. Now, if the ball happens to go through the outside posts on either side, that is called a behind and it's worth one point. But if you can send it straight down the middle through the center posts, that's a goal and it's worth six points. I know that's a simplified way of putting it, but trust me, it's not as easy as it sounds because more often than not, you're having to kick at those posts from about 100 feet away. Now, of course, whoever has the most points at the end of four quarters wins, but it should be noted that unlike American football, where you are covered in pads from head to toe, or European football, where you at least get the benefit of wearing shin guards, the Aussies opted to use no protection at all other than their uniform. So for the better part of an hour and a half, they're just simply beating the crap out of each other. Now, the violence aside, the reason why I got so enamored with footy was because it was the first sport I ever discovered that came from another country. Again, being all the five at the time, I couldn't have told you where Australia was, let alone how to spell it. But what I did know is that they played the single craziest game I had ever seen. Now, my son is almost the same age I was then, and I'd like to think that thanks to the power of the internet, it's a lot easier for kids to be able to discover other cultural traditions like sports or music or film. I'd like to think it's one of those opportunities which can expand their horizons of learning about what human beings are capable of creating, even if it is something which on the surface seems like absolute and utter chaos. The bottom line is that in the last seven months, thanks to my job giving me access to cable, I've been able to rekindle my interest in Aussie rules football. I still don't have a favorite team yet, and if I'm brutally honest, I've only finally been able to figure out how the game works in about the last three weeks. But I don't care. I've got me footy back. And if you want to watch something which will likely blow your mind, both from a sporting and an anthropological perspective, I absolutely cannot recommend it enough. Speaking of which, I have a match to go watch. And you, get some sleep. Sweet dreams when you get there.